This video is going to be on Orbot for Android. It's fairly simple really. We've used Chrome to phone on the computer and I'm accessing a file sharing service where you have to wait for your downloads. Like we'll click regular and then you've got to wait that long for it to download. Now you type it in and you can download the file you're looking for. I sure hope that's right because this is getting annoying. Alright, so I finally got the freaking code to work and I pressed the little download button and now it's downloading. Files downloaded successfully. Now if we switch over to the Evo 4G LTE, now on this phone if we try to go to that link, if I try to download that same file, it didn't quite work for this example, but since I'm using the same router, I have the same IP address. And if you download so many things, it'll kick you and say like RapidShare for example, it'll say you have to wait 30 minutes to download this again. Now let's see if I can put this stupid code in. Let's see if I got this right. Press continue, and then press download file. If I go to Chrome to phone, then I go to today, and then I press on this, and then I open it, and choose internet. I don't know why it's not working for me, but sometimes it'll make you wait a really long time, and how you would change that is you would open up Orbot. Long press on it. You press this to check and see whether your connection is anonymized or not. And it says we are. So now we can access websites that would normally either be blocked because we're on a public Wi-Fi network and some public Wi-Fi networks don't allow you to access sites like Mediafire, just sites that let you share files. They're blocked. What this will do is unblock those and you will be able to download those files. The only bad part about this is your speeds will be actually pretty slow. So depending on how bad you want that file, you'll do this. Or if you're trying to access something and you don't want to get caught. Not that I'm recommending doing anything illegal or bad, just, you know, showing you what you can do. We'll open up the deposit files again. And pretty much everything you do will be a little bit slower than normal. <laughs> See, it's not even in English because it doesn't think we're in the United States any longer. So that's just a proof of concept. You can access blocked websites on public Wi-Fi networks, such as file sharing sites. If you're downloading something and it says you need to wait an hour to download another file, you can use this, but your downloads will be pretty slow, actually. And you can also use it to get on websites without them being able to find your exact location or know who you are. This part of the video, I'm actually going to show you how to set it up. Just press the little search button and type in Tor, T-O-R, and press search. And it'll be the one of the first things that you see. Just press install and then press accept and download and it'll download the thing for you. When it's done, press open and then I just press next because I'm in the United States and I speak English. Next, next. This part is very, very important. If you are rooted, then this app will work for you very easily. Just press request super user access and either press grant if you have super SU or allow if you have super user. I love you, Daddy. I love you too, Abby. I'm recording, okay? Okay. Press proxy all apps through Tor. Next close and then hold this down like you saw earlier press the little checkbox okay and then it'll ask you which browser to choose if you have more than one installed and now it's going to check to see if we're browsing the internet anonymously and it says we are sweet haha uh -huh. go ahead and laugh here you can tell that i'm used to my evo 4g lte and not my evo 3d just hold down on the button right there and now you're not going to be browsing anonymously. We'll press OK and it'll launch the web page and it says sorry you're not using Tor. If you liked this video please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot and I highly appreciate it when you guys do it. If you have your Twitter account linked to your YouTube account I will get a mention and I will retweet the first couple ones that like my video and have their accounts connected. If you're new to my channel please consider subscribing. This is What Would Josh Do and I'm out.